here's a follow-up video of a full thickness Baruka excision we did from April of this year. And I'll put a link at the end of the video to the original one from April the 17th. Sarah's back today, she's seen myself, obviously, and she's seen my colleague, and she's just given my colleague a little potted history of all the swearing what you did, because you were rubbish with your local anaesthetic. So for this particular one, Aki, what we did is we've done an aggressive debridement, basically local anaesthetic, really aggressive, sharp, sharp dissection. Anaesthetic, not great. So we brought about to do a full thickness curatage, full thickness. A month or two later, again, anaesthetic. And she had about 15, 20 mils of local anaesthetic. We stuck her in the comfy chairs for half an hour, no, 45 minutes, still none. Top up, ow. Another top up, still ow. So really interesting, kind of like <laughs> resistance to local anaesthesia. So Sarah's back now. When did we do the, the full thickness? Sarah, about two months ago, three months ago? The what? When, the, what, what? when did we do, when did we cut it out? Uh, when did we cut it? April. April. So this is kind of our view. She's still sore now. Bear in mind, this was one of the worst. Let's keep you in shot. One of the worstest. Sorry, I was in Kettering on Monday, so I'm still <laughs> speaking in Kettering. One of the worstest verrucas, what I've treated since lockdown. It was blessed awful. So just your, your skin, Sarah, is awful. Really was like, it was like a bullet racket. Now, what we've got now is we've got, in terms of a lesion, while it's still a little bit sore, it is about 75% less thicker, I'm still speaking Kettering, sorry, thicker than um, it were. You're right, you're okay. Still a little bit sore. I'm just trying to keep the, the picture in shot, really, because the camera's in a blessed way. So at the moment, you look to be Veruca free. So there's two, well, really three things going on, Sarah. Number one is you've got some callus, but you don't have the Veruca. So it's so much thinner than it was, better, but it's still a bit sore. Number two is you're overloading that knuckle. So you've got the lesion there because that's in terms of where your ball of the foot is. Mm. That hits most, so you mechanically overload it, which is really why you got the Veruca there in the first place. The Veruca that kind of turned into a corn. And three, you're being a bit soft. Not your fault, not your fault. We're gonna do your prescription for what's known as some man up pills. I don't know how they work on ladies, but don't keep rid of the foot. I know you want to. <laughs> this is, and now I know it's still a bit sore, Chucky, but compared to where it were, yeah. this is fabuloso. I'm absolutely looking at that. Now, if you can just see in the back, keep your hand there, so. There. <laughs> She come in today. What did he do to you at the end? I was opening the window. Open the window. Yeah, just before I left home. So she's got so we've just patched her up. Bless it's is a, a it's a thing. Hey we had um we had a patient in this morning. She come come with her son. He trapped his finger in the car door this morning and he nearly died. Jesus. Yeah, well he was picking his nose at the time. Oh well there you go. What is he like? His jokes don't get any better. Do they, they don't get any better, no. <laughs> Good jokes told badly. As Frank Carson used to say. Remember we used to, he used to, it was a wear talent. So, it sh it, in, in, in truth, Sarah, ooh, don't pull a face. I can't get your face on camera. I'd, oh. love, I'd love to. Did you do some modelling in your, in, your, in your time? Absolutely. Oh, you did. I do a little bit of modelling now as well, you know. They use me as the before picture for people who go joining the gym. <laughs> they go, do you look like this? Are you a bit of a fat knacker? Would you look to like... So I'm the before picture. So I'm going to leave it... Do you know what? I'm just going to switch. Aki, did we get 15 blade and all? We got 15. So this is... I'm, you know, so genuinely, apart from the fact it's a delight to see you. Oh, 15 is here, Aki, look. We're organised. Sorry, my bad. So, genuinely, this is so much thinner than it was. It should feel a whole heap better. But it's because... Sorry, there, it's nearly done. It's because it's been just a sore for so long. Um, your skin's not great. Not the worstest I've seen. 
I'm nearly done, nearly done, nearly done. I'm going to stop there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, just give that a bit of a clean. So you've got a, just a tiny, 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 I keep losing out the shot. Let's get that back in shot. You've got a tiny little corner in the centre. Size of a, think of an example, half a fennel seed, okay. But your skin's glassy and thick and hard, and it's right over the knuckle. So in terms of options now, so we need to kind of keep some of that hard skin down, which will keep you comfortable. A little bit of padding. Um, now, while we could, I'm not going to, but we could, I mean, for some of our ladies, what we'll actually do is take that metatarsal, break and lift it up. So I, that's an option. It's not one that I'd rush you to, but I could actually move that metatarsal head back and up, and that would offload it. That's bony surgery, and that's kind of like, you know, two classes up and doing a bit of skin surgery. Yeah, because what's happening at the moment, and that's why I phoned up, um, even taking the dog out for a walk in that near the bottom, just can't put any... I'm just keeping you in picture. Um, pressure on it. It's really painful. Really? Yeah. And how often do you walk your dog? At the moment, not at all. Okay. We've got a garden. Oh, oh bless her. Got it. Um, so she's not been out properly with me for about three weeks oh. because the pressure on my foot it's significant. Yeah, and then trying to take my shoe off after I've been putting that pressure on it, taking that off. Yeah. Is like, and I've tried all different forms. I've got um, shoes with memory foam in them and, and all and, that. And do you, do you love your dog? Or can I do love my dog. That's a shame because I was going to say, a friend of mine's a vet and he'll do a, he does me a deal, little injection, you know, nice burial. It's all very, it's all done very, it's all done very, very discreetly, you know. You work with this man. He does. Um, hmm. So, I'm for what you gave me back in the spring. I'm properly chuffed with this. That's one of those situations where I'm I'm more pleased than you. But it's now a case of keeping hard skin off it and cushioning it. No sign of any veruca there. You're veruca free. And we'll we'll just keep on the the back burner that plan free or plan B excuse me of doing some metastasis work. But that's a conversation for another time. Okay. Questions. What can I tell you, Trevor? Any questions for me? I don't know really, I just need that not to be painful when I walk. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because I've, I've gone to... Here's a picture of it again, pre-April of this year. You can see a really thick, painful, gnarly lesion. And then here's a close-up from today. So she's about two to three months post full thickness curatage. And yes, while she's still symptomatic, 75% less lesion than there was. So if she can keep on top of this with regular podiatric debridement and cushioning, she'll do really quite well in the longer term now.